Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. As you can see here, I am grinding with my jellyfish. Jelly bra is up today. So, seems like a perfect time to talk a little bit about the jellyfish and the event. Alright, so first, this event will populate for you if you have built a jellyfish. So, my advice is build the jellyfish, or at least go into the ship menu and start building it. Now, I understand you don't want to use all of your speed ups to, you know, finish the ship. You would like to let it go for some time. But I'm not sure if the day happens where Jelly Bra is scheduled and you haven't built it. Reset has come and gone. If you build it, will the event automatically populate? I don't know. So I would say plan ahead and have your jellyfish built, finished, built out of the shipyard before the event is supposed to start. So the purpose of the event is you go kill ships with your jellyfish. You see this little yellow icon, little flag looking thing with a skull in there. There's only three systems. Those are the systems you can, the only three systems you can get points in. You should see it, it should populate in your game. Now I, ha I have a somewhat untraditional grinding crew here. Most of that is because of speed. You gotta kill 50 hostiles and does take kind of a while. Especially when you get to a higher level and 38s and 39s and 40s or whatever don't count towards your dailies. So if you're new to the jellyfish, I suggest using a more traditional hostile grinding crew. Pike Morochen is probably best. Kath or Talon work as well. I wouldn't go with the new, the strange new world assholes because they're limited on what type of ship you can hit and what ship you're on. I guess, stupid headphones. Um, the hell was I saying? Spock, new Spock. He's the one that'll work on a jellyfish, but you have to be killing interceptors. Well, yes, there are interceptors, at least in this system. But there's two other types, so can potentially go slower because it's not just interceptors for you. So Pike Moreau is probably best. Of course, you could try Pike Moreau Pike. As in old Pike, Moreau, new Pike. Get you some extra. What the hell does it do? Reduces your opponent's shield absorption. I'll show you the crew I'm using. <clears throat> Una, regular Una, Strange New World Una, not Battleship Strike Team Una, Kuran, and Beverly. Beverly's in there for mitigation, and Una and Kuran are there for speed. A little bit of extra damage with Una in the captain's seat. Seem to be doing okay. Been kind of playing around. Oh, I'm getting. Oh, I'm almost done. Okay. I have been playing around with the crews my past few events just because I wanted to go faster. 
one of the jellyfish itself, it's, I don't believe it's that good of a ship. It used to be way back when, before they released G4, the faction ships anyway. The jellyfish was the first four star ship, if I remember correctly. And you can build it at 39. Yeah, 38 or 39, I can't even remember, it's been so long. So back then it was an okay ship, especially because they released it to spenders and spenders spent tons of money to make the ship good. But as the rest of the galaxies caught up with their G3 ships, like say, for instance, the Enterprise and the Augur, started realizing... That even some of these big bad jellyfishes that were big and bad at one, to one time are actually paper thin. The jellyfish gets crushed by augers and enterprises all the time. Especially now. So if you noticed I have mine at tier 3. Depending on who you talk to some people say tier 2. Tier 3 or Tier 4. Something you're going to have to play around with yourself. Build your jellyfish. Take it up to Tier 2 at least. Do a jelly bra event. Maybe two. And decide if you want to even take it up another tier. I Tier 3 mine. What? A year and a half, two years ago almost. Since then, there have been a lot of researches and buildings and whatever. To increase damage and mitigation and all that stuff that helps you when attacking hostiles. So I almost don't even, you almost don't even need tier 3 to finish Jelly Brawl. You can most likely do it. On tier 2. Especially, you know, Pike Moreau Chat. What's with that, with it being a G4, and for some of you, your first G4 ship, the crew bonus may come to a shock to you. Previously with the epics and the rares, the 3 star anyway, crew bonuses are relatively low. 9,000, 7,000, 6,000, whatever, and you got, like, all your crew bonuses. Jellyfish is not like that. What is what is it want? 15,000? 15,000 for each crew bonus. Now, the good thing, if you're using Pike Moreau Chen, if your Chen is Tier 3, and her Pike is the Captain, you have max mitigation. So you don't need defense, right? Because at max mitigation... The defense crew bonus is doing nothing for you. And you can get max mitigation with, you know, just a tier 3 Moreau with Pike as captain. So you would focus on stacking attack and health. I would say go with health first. <clears throat> Especially with the Pike Moreau Chen, you're significantly reducing the hostile's attack. Therefore, the health is going to benefit you even more. The attack does help. It absolutely does. You kill the enemy quicker. It's always helpful, but you're just going to be able to grind longer with more hull. I think I'm in here still killing things and I'm probably done. Oh well. I keep, you know, I keep looking at the camera and not paying attention to my stupid thing over here to make sure I'm done. What the hell was I saying? Right. The one thing the jellyfish is very good for, especially when you get to 39 and you unlock dark space, the jellyfish has much higher warp range. So some of those armadas in 43 and 44 systems that you can't reach with your epics, your three star epics, you can reach with your jellyfish. So it does allow you to participate in some of those armadas. Now, you're not going to be that much help because the jellyfish just, it's not that good of a ship. 
and it's hard to get your crew bonuses, especially if you're under 40. But it's okay. Load up Kirk, Spock, Gala, and head out there. And, you know, you got your shield regeneration. That's going to help you survive a little bit. And Gala's going to take away some of the crit damage. So some of the bigger players in your alliance would thank you because the Armada isn't going to do that much damage to them. Therefore, save them costs on repairing. And I think I've done. Let's collect... Yeah, see, this is the main reason why we do Jelly Brawl. It's kind of a terrible ship, but we can take all these resources and use them on something else. We don't have to use them on the jellyfish. It's one reason why <laughs> events are still around. Parabellum is kind of attached to the jellyfish, but it's more, more of a generic event. A whole bunch of stuff. That's going to help me with my corner. All right, let's recall. What the hell was I talking about? Jellyfish. Talk about the ship ability. As you can see here, ship ability is a damage increase, which is going to scale up by level. Start of each round, you get a boost in damage. See that here, right? Level 15, all you get is 29%. Part of the reason why it's just not that good. 29% damage boost isn't great. Even if you went 10 rounds, it'd be 290%. In round 10. It's not that, it's not that much. Really not that much. <clears throat> Part of that is so many other things have come out since then. Power creep has happened. New thing after new thing. And they all get better and better each time. Let's check out the... There's my phone and my ring lighter in my way of a little bit of the screen. Really need to adjust my whole setup here. Now, some of this is my research. You see 5 million on the shield, 4 million on the hull. It's not a whole lot. Especially when, you know, here's the pillum. Of course, that's big. Even something like, I mean, you're defiant here. Just really weak. Where this is the one I wanted. Tier seven. This is why people say the jellyfish isn't that good of a ship. A Valdor and a jellyfish want the same resources, but which one's better? Look at the hull. Yes, I understand that the Valdor is several tiers above. What um, what is that? Three times the hull and three times the shield. You really want to use all those sparsely given out materials on a jellyfish. I mean, some people might argue that the amount of materials coming out now are more than they used to be. So you can afford to put a few more tiers on your jellyfish, and therefore have a somewhat of a stopgap or can't think of another term for that there between your three star epics and your level 42 uncommons or and I don't recommend this especially with solo armadas some people have skipped the 42 uncommons and waited for the rares can a three-star epic and a jellyfish carry you? Can. You gotta level up fast, because after a while it's gonna be annoying. Another thing you're gonna notice, if you're new to the jellyfish, the 
cost is going to be a little more than you're used to. Again, it is a four-star ship. But that'll get better time. You see mine wasn't too bad. More researchers, though. So that helps me. We'll look at the event thing. See if it's missed anything. Uh, yeah. These three systems, they're the same. They're always going to be the same. They've been the same the whole time. And it's just kill a hostile in there. Get you 50 points. So I guess in conclusion, the jellyfish is a very useful ship. Especially when Jelly Brawl comes around. It's a good amount of materials and ship parts that you most likely desperately need. As for other things like armadas and even hostile grinding, I think a tier... What, what, no, what was my auger at? I think when I leveled up to 42, or I, before I was leveling up to 42, my reputation got high. So then I had to go start hitting 43s and such. Well, I tried my auger at tier 6 and my jellyfish at tier 3 and the auger was doing a hell of a lot better. The jellyfish doesn't... It, it doesn't have the muscle. So, I stuck with the auger. Something you... You're just going to have to try on your own. Take some of my advice and do your own research and your own testing and such and figure out what is best for you. I say only go up a few tiers, see where you're at, and then, you know, we'll talk about tearing it up more or not. I say don't. Anyway, comment below. Do you have any questions about the jellyfish? Maybe you're, you know, you're way below it. Things to do to prep for it. What not and what not. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, something I noticed on Discord. And I know Rev did a video about the new Beverly. Supposedly she is fixed now. Fingers crossed, everybody. So, you can start using her again if you had used her and realized she wasn't working. You should be able to go back and use her again. Her ability should work. Okay, I'm really going to go this time. <laughs> I, can't, I say that all the time, don't I? I'm going to learn how to end a video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, commanders. <laughs>